Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on building task manager app using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In this web application, what we are going to do, we will be able to add a task using you know any task which you want to do. Suppose say you have to study around at 10 p.m. So you can add that task and a new dashboard will be created for you where you can see on what time you have created your task. You can delete the task and you can click on the completed button if you have completed that required task. If you want to learn how to create a simple and elegant application like this, watch this video till the end. But before that, I request you guys that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. Just a quick info guys, Simply Learn has got a postgraduate program in full stack web development in collaboration with the Caltech University. In this course, you're going to learn the modern coding techniques with the bootcamp level intensity and gain all you need to be a full stack technologies. So guys, you can check out the link in the description box. So guys, let us see how our application looks like. So you can see all over here that we have a task manager app where we can add a task. Okay, suppose say I have a music classes at 9 p.m. And if I want to add this task, you can see it shows on the dashboard that I have a music class at 9 p.m. Now I have two actions to perform. The first one is a complete button and the second one is a delete button. Suppose for God's sake, I have completed this task. I can click on the complete button and you can see all over here that a line has been created all over here and it shows that this task has been completed. We can also remove this task from our dashboard by clicking on the delete button. You can add n number of tasks, suppose say, music, study, gaming, and say coding. Okay. Now, this is a very elegant application, a very simple one, but instead you'll get to learn how to apply the JavaScript functionality, how you're going to create the UI using HTML, and how most importantly, you're gonna style this web application. So we will be using VS Code as our IDE, and from there, we can see how the manipulations, what we are doing, is affecting on the user interface. Let us go into our code part. So guys, as you can see all over here, we have two folders. The first one is a starter folder, and third one is a complete file. So in the starter folder, we have index.html, script.js, and style.css. So in the index.html guys, what we are going to do? So let us see our code first. Okay, so in the starter, if I just click on, we could see that there is a head written all over here. We have given a link to our style.css, which is completely empty right now, except we have defined root all over here. Now moving ahead, we are going to populate this file so that our UI looks like that. Now, let us go to our index.html and let us write our HTML code. So guys, as you can see all over here, first we have to create the body. And inside the body, I have to create a container, okay? And inside the container, what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna put the heading. So as you can see the UI all over here, so in the UI it says a task manager. There's a container, first you have to analyze this, and this container has a heading which says task manager, then there is a label, inside where basically a text field where you can add a task and there will be a button. So let us create in our index.html. So guys, as you can see, here I have created the container first, div class container, and here I have given the heading as task manager h1. So if I just change something like this, you would see that it's still like this thing will be gone. So guys, as you can see all over here, I have an h1 heading with the h1 tag as task manager. Then there is a text field, which I've shown you. Then there is a text field all over here, guys, with the input type text, id task input, and there is a placeholder which says add a new task. Then there is a button on click, which says that add a task, okay? Now, the functionality of this button is mentioned in the JavaScript code. And here it is add task. So if I take you to the UI, you could see all over here. Let us delete everything. Okay, so h1 tag is for the task manager. Then there is an input text field, which is given all over here. Okay, there is an id task input. And I have applied a placeholder also, which says add a new task. So placeholder means something like, which is visible all over here. So you can overwrite this. And if it's empty, it says add a new task. 
So that's what placeholder means. Now guys, let us see what's the next thing. We have created the button. Now on clicking the button, okay, there's a functionality added. Okay, and this functionality or this function like adding a task it's been mentioned in the JavaScript file, which is script.js. So we have to complete this function, okay? Now, then I have created a task list with the given unordered list, which is id as task list. So suppose if I'm adding, uh, suppose say, let me show you. So suppose I've added a task music, okay? Now I have created sports, Okay, so all these files are getting updated one by one. So the unordered list is keeping adding as we are adding up the task. So that's what's logic I have written all over here that with a particular ID of the task which we are adding, okay. So this should be added in the unordered list. Now, so this is our front end part and it's complete. Just few four or five lines of code. Okay, now you can see all over here, there's a script.js file, which is basically for styling. So let us look how we have styled our components. Okay, now for styling purposes, what I have targeted with the class name, see how our container is going to look like. Container means guys, the this end part, the white end part is called container. Okay, so let us see how we can add the code or how we can style it using CSS. So guys, all over here, we have style.css, okay. Now it's completely empty. Let's populate this file. So in the style.css, I have something called container. Okay, so there's a body. Okay, let's add first about the body, which is a default code only. So let's copy this and paste it all over here. Okay. Now, the next code should be of container. So if I see the container, we have the maximum width, we have the margin, we have the background color, we have the border radius, the box shadow and the padding. So these are the various attributes that have applied to my container so that my container looks like this. Okay. Now, similarly, I have applied my H1 tag and you can see my H1 tag is kind of blue color. So see the primary color, dark color is mentioned. Now this is a variable which I've used as a variable and this variable has been declared all over here, which is blue. Primary color is given the blue color with RGB coding 197.6.d2, okay, very easy. Now, similarly for the input types, how I have styled, so input types means this one, okay. This, how we have, uh, you can say styled our label. So let us see. So for styling the label, I have put out that input type should be text, okay. The width I have calculated using the calc function and it's ranges around 100% which says approximately to 80 pixels. Now I have marg margin bottom which is 10 pixels, the border radius is 5 pixels and the font size is 16 pixels. Now if I talk about the button guys, let us see how our, we have styled our button. So you can see the button has a padding, the background color which is a blue color, then the color is white. Okay, the border is none, cursor is pointer, the border radius they have given something like 5 pixels and the transition color is 0 0.3 seconds with the background color. Okay, so let us see how this effect is being applied. So when we are hovering it, you can see the color is changing. Okay, now when I'm clicking on this, it says please enter a task. Okay, now when you click on this, it's, it's a kind of a responsive styling we have given all over here. So which includes like say, the transition most importantly and then we have given what could be the font size which I have been written it's 16 pixels little bit of border radius and the background color we have given as blue very easy now for hovering it I have changed this to primary dark color okay this is the primary color primary color that means blue the dark primary color is a dark version of this which means this color now for the ul you can see the unordered list which is something like the list style type. So you can see the unordered list style type is none, the padding is zero, okay. Then for the li part, li means the list, okay. So for the list, we have given the padding, the margin bottom, okay, the background color, the display, how to justify the content. So we want the content in the center, okay. So, and similarly, the font size has been given as 16 pixels. So this is all the attributes that we have styled for our li component or li element. Now, when your task is completed, okay, suppose, let me show you. So suppose this task is completed, so there's a button all over here, okay. 
and I have added this logic with the help of JavaScript. Okay, this is an interactive logic. It's not mentioned in the index.html part. Okay, because this is coming dynamically, and as you add the task, this button pops up. Now, let us see the completed. So you can see the text decoration is line through. The color is, you can say, the color is. Uh, this shows this type of color dot add uh, the hexa uh, value is 88888 and something like this nearly you can say a dark gray color then there's a delete button with an accent color so accent color is this we have initialized our accent color primary dark color this is the accent dark color this is the accent light color so here you have the accent color also then for the delete button hover so when you hover over it it will become dark color similarly the, for the completion button it's been shown to the green and for the button to hover it's been added as you can say green color but we have not added all these functionalities uh, we have not added this style this is for your external if you want to improve the ui you can add these functionalities also so let me show you what I mean to say. Suppose if I hover all over here, the color is changing. Now when I'm clicking this, the UI should be green. Okay. So the button changes color to green. Now that logic is about uh, you can improve on this UI and you can take this small project and uh, build your skills in HTML and CSS. Now the most and the foremost important part that comes to JavaScript. Now how we are going to add the interactivity? Now we have created a UI, but it doesn't add up the new task. Right now, since two files, we have only created. The first one is HTML, and second one is the CSS part. Now when we are going to write our JavaScript file, which means that we are going to add the interactivity. So guys, in the part two video, we are going to create the interactive file, how we can make our application interactive with the help of JavaScript. So guys, watch this second part also. If you want to learn how we can complete this task manager application. Thank you for watching this video. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.